If you've ever looked at a 3D model and thought, I wish it just had one less D, well, I've got good news for you. This is the STL to ASCII generator. It's a tool that I made that converts a 3D model into an ASCII image. Using this tool, you can upload a 3D model in STL format, create an ASCII image using custom text or default characters, and export a text file or take a screenshot. If you're interested in learning more about ASCII art, I highly recommend checking out the Wikipedia page. It's got a ton of great examples of different styles of ASCII art, as well as some information on why ASCII art is important in the context of early computer history. It's definitely a nostalgia thing for me, and I think it looks pretty cool. So let's quickly talk about the reason I'm making this video. I posted a link to Twitter to the first draft of this tool, and I was not prepared for the amount of attention it got. People really seemed to like it, and I got a ton of messages and comments from people who were using the tool who made a lot of really cool and unique pieces of ASCII art. So I figured it was worth taking a little bit of time to dive in a bit deeper and talk about how it works and how it can be used. If you do wind up making a piece of ASCII art with this tool, definitely send me a message on Twitter. I love to see what people are making. This isn't a tutorial on how to use 3JS or anything like that, but I did want to go a little bit deeper into the code so you can see how this generator works. On the left is the 3JS code that's generating this image, and to start you'll notice that there's two point lights. I added directional lighting to the scene because I wanted to add some contrast. If you just completely uniformly light the model, the ASCII characters just look sort of plain and they don't have a lot of contrast, where here you can very clearly see these contours. This also gives models a really dramatic look when you rotate them, and I think it looks pretty cool. Moving a little further down in the code, you'll find the ASCII effect, which is the effect that's being used to create the scene. There are a few variables that you can change here, including the background color and the color of the ASCII characters. I chose black for our background and white for the characters because I thought it gave the image a really nice contrast and it really made it pop. When you first load the generator, it starts with a default list of ASCII characters that are used to create the image, but I wanted to add the ability to change that, so there's a custom text field where you can enter whatever text you want, and that will be the characters that are used to create the image. You can see there's a text field that says custom text, and next to that it says update ASCII. So if you click update ASCII, it will take all the text in that field and use that to generate the image. So here we can see the image is completely made using the letters found in the words custom text. Clicking Reset ASCII will restore the initial default set of values. So this is fun to experiment with, and you can try out your own custom text in this field. There's also a toggle switch between dark and light mode, which I added in case you wanted to have black characters on a white background. So clicking dark light mode will toggle back and forth between the two. It's pretty bright, and I'm not a big fan to be honest, but maybe you are, and that's okay. Once you've made your ASCII masterpiece, you probably want to export it, and there's two different options here. The first is to download as a text file, so clicking download text file will download a text file with all the ASCII characters embedded in it. And the second option is to download a screenshot, which is just a static JPEG. The text file preserves all of the white space, so if you open it up and it doesn't look right, scale up your text editor until you can see the full image. The JPEG file is just a static image, so you can't edit it or select individual characters, but it's nice if you want to be able to quickly share your ASCII art or print it out. Joel Telling had a great suggestion, which is exporting a PNG with alpha transparency, which is a transparent background, so that'll probably be the next thing that I add. The full code is available on GitHub if you're interested in learning more. If there are suggestions you have for new features, feel free to shoot me a message on Twitter or just send a pull request on GitHub. I'm really enjoying playing around with 3JS. It's a very powerful library that has a lot of tools that are useful to people in the 3D printing space. If you have ideas for new projects you'd like to see me tackle, feel free to leave them in the comments below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. As always, thanks for watching and have fun printing.